Attracting tomorrow. TDK. Okay, I'd like to now do a quick demo of how to do power sequencing using the TDK power strip demo board for application engineers. So a couple things for setup here, what our tasks are if you look at my PowerPoint presentation. What we're going to try to do with this current board is to add a sequencer to the Zinc 7 design of the power strip board. In this case, we're going to sequence the core voltage and the auxiliary voltages and the system voltages. The power strip board here, we do have one series rail at 1.0 volts and a 1.2 volt rail as well. And what we're going to do is to attach the sequencer to the external power sequencer port of the power strip board as you're seeing in the PowerPoint presentation. Now, we ended up doing a collaboration effort with Dialog uh, Semiconductor's Green Pack device. It's a very flexible device that can be configured for different power sequencing uh, tasks. Uh, the green board is what we use for the original prototypes. The new boards we have done with them, uh, if you look at uh, my um, EVA board here, it's actually black. And Dialog Semi was nice enough to do some custom sequences for our power strip, in particular for Artex 7, Spartan 7, Zinc 7, and Zinc Ultra Scale. We also have some generic power sequencers with Dialog that they've done for us for customs for ARM processors, multiple ARM processors like IMX.8 and others that are similar. And each of them have a different part number, as you can see here with the TDK part number 43741. We'll show that here in a moment and we'll show how to connect that to the board. So getting back to the PowerPoint presentation, what we're going to do here is kind of show you the data sheet for the Zinc 7. This particular power sequencer can actually be applied to Spartan 7 and uh, Zinc 7 and Arctic 7 because the core voltages and the IO voltages are very similar. What we've done there, if you again looking at the PowerPoint, is a normal sequence of the power up between the core voltage, the auxiliary voltage, and the IO voltages, as well as the Surtis voltages, where the dialog sequencer is actually controlling the enables and reading the power goods. We do a power up sequence as well as a power down sequence for normal operations. We also did uh, what we call a crash sequence. What happens in the case where one of the modules or output voltages has an inadvertent crash and it doesn't come up or it doesn't operate. We actually implemented with Dialog the ability to sense this and to shut down all the rails very quickly to protect the FPGA or your ASIC or your multiple arm controller. Here I just wanted to show you a demonstration of the Zinc 7 where we actually looked at it under a scope to prove out the power up and power down sequencing with the power strip board and TDK's power modules with dialog sequencer connected to the output port. So before I begin I just wanted to show you what some of these data sheets look like from dialog as our collaboration partner. They've actually worked out with us different power sequencing schemes with their low cost and extremely small power sequencer, you can see a 2 millimeter by 3 millimeter, where we've actually worked out the programmable logic and for the different sequencing designs here for the crash and the normal sequencing. This data sheet will be available via Dialog and also on TDK's website and also available as part of the kit for the application engineers for the power strip TDK evaluation board. All right, so let's now move back over to the EVA board. I want to show you how to attach the uh, power sequencer. So here is the Dialog sequencer, and it's real tiny. You can actually see it's right here, really small package. This is their standard configuration that they provide to their customer base, but we've also, what we've done on the TDK power strip boards, we've added the interface as well here to the uh, right of the board. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the right of the board for you. 
Okay, and then we'll start up the board. So it's real simple, just start that up. Now we don't really need the dongle in this case uh, that we showed you in the earlier video. We're not going to be programming any voltages at this point. We just wanted to show you how to test the sequencer. Alright, so real quick, we're going to go ahead and, and enable all the parts initially. But you notice none of them came on. You can actually see from the LEDs here that the device hasn't sequenced yet. And that's because we haven't set the master reset signal. So what we've done here is to emulate it, switch to the ability to send a reset signal to the sequencer to initiate the sequencing between the rails. Now this is going to occur pretty quickly, but there it is. What happened there is the dialog sequencer or any part sequencer can come in and has access to our modules on the PAR strip board to actually control the enables of each device and in the dialog device it's actually reading the devices as they come on and then turning on each of the others subsequently according to the design set on the power sequencer. So I just wanted to show you very quickly the ecosystem here to also include power sequencing on TDK's power strip demo board for applications and FPGAs and SOCs between 5 watts and 40 watts. Attracting tomorrow. TDK.